Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys. Uh, today I'm going to show you how easy we can submit our homeworks. We're going to use uh, GitHub. So let's uh, start. Okay, you can see Russell is here. He's busy working for something. Ah, you can see my daughter also. Yeah. Okay, so uh, today Basically, I'm going to show you how to use GitHub desktop application to upload your works on GitHub. Uh, later, we will discuss more about uh, GitHub and Git, like how we're going to work uh, professional works using Git. Okay, keep watching. Okay, let's jump into this. I'm going to show you how to use GitHub desktop software to upload your works or homework to github and uh, submit to us so basically we are gonna we are gonna use desktop uh, github desktop application so you just go to desktop.github.com and then download this software so i'm uh, currently i'm using windows that's why i'm downloading windows and I believe I don't need to show how to install a software, download a software and install it. So I have already downloaded the Windows version of GitHub desktop and then you guys can see my software here. I, I just ran. So when you run the software for the first time, you need to authorize your GitHub account. Actually, uh, let me show you okay so after installing github desktop software you're gonna run it i mean it will run automatically then you will reach the welcome screen so as i already installed and ran the software for the second first time and then this is uh, i ran it for second time then i cannot reach the welcome screen so what i need to do i need to go file options and then sign in if you don't have github account please go to github.com and create a free account so as i already have github account i'm using github for the for several years so i do not need to create a new account so let's sign in when i click sign in it will say continue with browser so it will open the browser and then go to this authorization github authorization uh, window and then it will show open github desktop so yes yeah i already logged in so i can see all my existing repositories here okay let's create a new repository on your hard drive that means we are going to create a new repository on our desk uh, on, on our computer so i will select this so the report repository name i can say anything like okay so i can put a space but the name will be like hyphen so uh, i need to choose the directory normally uh, all my works i put it in web root here so this one actually uh, I need to create a folder here inside oh I have okay so uh, I just created a folder and then just just keep it like this yeah create a repository and then we don't have any changes in our local folder let's keep it like this and then we will edit uh, create a file in the folder using our favorite ide i mean uh, editor my favorite one of the favorite uh, text editing software is sublime text here I am using Sublime Text. You guys can download Sublime Text and install. 
or maybe you can use any other uh, favorite ID. Here I'm creating a HTML file, like any file, like uh, index. And then I'm going to save it in the folder that I created. Smarty pants again. Oh, uh, they, it, it, it. like uh, if you create a folder, the dex, GitHub desktop will create another folder in it. Okay, so I just I just keep blank or like any yeah test in the body. I will put like. Each one test file okay now I'm going to upload this on github using github desktop so as you can see when I created a file in that folder it detects that I have a new file so basically uh, why uh, here i want to point one thing like each and every file should have one blank line at the end why i will tell you later uh, for git so what i gonna do i will commit this file on my github so i will say like um, initial commit I can say some uh, description okay and then commit it okay so this file has been committed on my local git repository okay so I'm going to publish this local git repository on github okay let me click the publish repository button and then i can see github.com publish uh, target of the publishing uh, it's github.com we don't have github enterprise server so we are using github.com and then using this name and then the description maybe like test repository okay as i have uh, three organizations in github like this is my companies like this is my company i'm working in this company and they they, they have github so you just select none that means my personal github uh, personal account this this uh, repository will be my personal repository not belongs to any of my companies that i am working for so when i click publish repository it is going to publish the changes and the files to github yes done so if i go to github.com and to my repositories like i go my profile and then your repositories I can see this smarty pants see the uh, index dot HTML is uploaded here so how you gonna give me permission to this uh, repository so that I can see whatever you have done this is how you gonna send your homework to me like go to settings and go to manage access and then you can invite a collaborator by my name so what i'm gonna do this is my account i'm going to invite russell to my new repositories actually there are so many russell so better I use his email address 
Okay, I have run his uh, email address. So when I pasted his email address, I can see he has GitHub account. Just click here and add Russell to this repository. Okay, so Russell is pending the invitation. Then after when Russell accept the invitation, I can set his permission like he can edit or not read or write or something. So this is how you gonna add me and Russell on your GitHub repository. Then we will able to see whatever you are doing in this repo and whatever changes you gonna do. So what you can do like I'm going to open this folder open this folder this one on sublime text so I can see all the files here so what you can do is like create a new folder new folder like task one and then maybe like create another folder task two okay so task one inside this you can create a new file whatever like folder or like normally we keep the see uh, HTML files Uh, it is going to the task one normally we keep the HTML file outside and then we create CSS in CSS folder so if we have style.css okay so it is going to CSS folder okay so now let's go to github desktop it has detected that you get i have created some folders and files uh, okay this task 2 doesn't have anything that's why okay let me create another index it is going to task 2 okay i don't have anything like uh, okay maybe like html okay so if i go to desktop github desktop you can see the changes uh, what i have uh, done in the so now i'm going to commit all these changes new changes like task 002 or something like this so uh, this uh, commit message is mandatory like you need to put some commit message here description is optional okay commit to main that means you are we are, i'm i'm committing this uh, changes in main branch what is branch i will describe later no worries so okay like i have committed these changes on my local repository now i'm going to push it on github that is my origin origin is like the remote when I click push, hang on, just uploading is done. Okay, let's go to GitHub. When I reload this page, you can see all these changes. Okay, this is uh, a simple description how to use GitHub. You guys can explore more. We will learn more about github no need to use google docs or no need to send uh, email you guys can just upload to github and give us access on your repository like invite us as as a reviewer or admin write access or read access at least read access then uh, we will see what what you are doing it's uh, very easy and i think this will help you okay thank you for 
watching see you next time and definitely ask any question related to this don't feel any hesitation bye